This is a series of videos that we're using to teach medical students about the physical examination. When you first get into medical school, you have to learn how to take a history from somebody. So how to get the person to tell you their story and then also how to do a physical exam. We think it's really important for medical students to learn about what's different about doing this in older adults. We call it geriatrics. I hope that you'll enjoy these videos as well. The biliary system. What is it and how is it different in older adults? So when I say biliary system, I'm referring to the gallbladder, parts of the intestine, and the liver, as well as the pancreas. All of those structures that are kind of in that right upper quadrant, central upper abdomen area. It's important to know what can be different about biliary disorders and examining the biliary system in older adults, because there are some differences. Biliary disease is more common in older adults compared to younger people. One third of those over 65 have gallstones. Biliary disease is the most common cause of emergency surgery in older adults in the US. But older adults might not present in a typical way compared to a younger person. Let's take an example. You've probably heard of Charcot's triad for biliary disease. Charcot's triad is three things, right upper quadrant pain, jaundice, and fever. But in older adults with cholangitis, only 30 to 45% will present with this classic triad. Remember that older adults may be less likely to have a fever because of a lower basal body temperature, as well as normal age-related changes in the immune system. So if all the elements of that triad are missing, work a little harder to rule out cholangitis. Pancreatitis can also present differently. Only 10% of older adults with pancreatitis will present with the classic description of pancreatitis pain, which is kind of that central, boring type of pain. Most older adults who have pancreatitis have it because of gallstone disease. And they may not present with that typical pain as well as a white count and fever. They might present with uh, confusion or low blood pressure. So it's important to do the appropriate laboratory investigations and not close those diagnostic doors too quickly. When anybody presents with abdominal pain, but especially an older adult with a higher risk of other conditions, it's important to think about other systems that may be the cause of the pain. For example, it could be a heart attack, a pulmonary embolus, pneumonia, a urinary tract infection, a problem with the bowel or bladder, think constipation or urinary retention. It could also be related to a medication side effect, so that's an important piece of the history to get. And don't forget, it could be something related to the skin, like shingles. For more information about aging, go to www.therinkle.ca.